Hi everyone, I'm Lucy from Sew so Essential and I'm here today to share the latest Birder pattern release with you. So I've picked out a few of my favourites and paired them with dressmaking fabrics that you can make them in. Everything I talk about is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. And do stay tuned to the end of the video where you'll see the full range of patterns. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing good and if you can't wait a whole week do jump on and check out the links below to our other social accounts Instagram Facebook all the usual places we're there and posting regularly so let's get started with the patterns that I've picked out from the new Birda range. So I just want to give you an overview of the size charts before we get started. So the patterns I've picked out run in either an 8 to an 18 or an 8 to a 22. So just to give you an idea of sizes, an 8 is a 31 and a half bust, a 24 and a half waist and a 34 hip. An 18 is a 39 and a half bust, 32 and a half waist and a 41 and three quarter hip. And then a 22 is a 43 and a half bust, 36 and a quarter waist and 45 and a half hip. Um, but all the details for all the patterns I've picked out below, they're all on the website. So do check out the links below to the patterns um, and you can get any information that you need there. So. The first design I chose is Birda 6040 and I just want to say that in my opinion some of the styling on these um, patterns is um, a little odd or it's not something I would choose shall we say um, but I'm a great believer you know we're all entitled to our own opinions uh, you know some people might really like the styling but um, the reason I say that is that I think actually if you look at the, the line drawings and the designs themselves and then I've picked out some fabrics that I think work nicely you might think oh they're not my cup of tea um, but I just want to say you know it's, it's see past the styling on the pattern packets I think there are actually some really nice designs here such as 6040 um, which is a dress and a top and I just think the dress is a really lovely cut um, so it is a v-neck at the front and then it's got under bust seams which look like they've got gathers which is always a nice um, feature and then it's got sort of almost like a cup uh, well it's got a piece a pattern piece that sits underneath that um, and goes from under the bust to the waist and then there is a, skirt, a midi length sort of um, flared or a slightly a-line skirt um, that attaches to that it's got bishop sleeves so there's a nice bit of um, volume at the ed end of the sleeve and then that goes into a cuff um, and I just think it's a really lovely design. The piece on the front um, which comes under the bust and then goes to the waistline so it's in almost like a sort of a triangular sort of shape goes into a narrower piece at the back and I just think it's a very elegant design. I think the fit if you can get the fit right on it it would look lovely. Um, yeah just just really really lovely design and then there's also a top that you can make which has got the same underbust gathers um, it's more of a loose fit uh, top it's not fitted around the waist so much this one and it's got wide flared sleeves but for me it's all about the midi dress I just think that's a really really nice design and really nice cut um, it comes in sizes 8 to 18 and the fa fabrics recommended are woven fabrics, cotton fabrics, crepe fabrics, blends, viscose and rayon. So the fabric I chose was this Dashwood, um, Dashwood rayon viscose fabric. Um, I think that would work really well in that design. It's just got this lovely, pretty floral design on it, um, a sort of teal coloured background, and then those lovely pops of orange and peachy colours against that just make it really pretty. It's lovely quality, as you would expect from Dashwood. Got lovely drape and movement, and I think would work beautifully sewn up as that dress. And if you're um, still into the sort of less fitted design, so we've seen a lot of the sort of peasant dress, tiered dresses that are less fitted, buffet dresses they were referred to as on the sewing bee a couple of years ago. Um, there is one of those in here for you as well, and that is 6023. Um, so you've got a V-neck um, with a button, button down front, 
bust darts and then a tiered skirt like a maxi length tiered skirt with three tiers long sleeves and then there's also a really nice top in this one as well um, which again has got the v-neck the few buttons at the front and then it's gathered as you would gather the tier um, a sort of a, a, like empire line I would say um, and then it just hangs loose and it's got nice um, full sleeves the sleeves look like the cuff is finished with elastic and um, so you've got a bit of a sort of poof and a bit of fullness at the end there as well this one comes in a size 8 to 8 and it's also for woven fabrics so the fabric I thought that work, would work really well for that is this linen viscose fabric that we've recently had in so there's lots of new fabrics in this video so as you would expect from a linen viscose lovely drape and movement got these beautiful bright fresh colours um, which I think would work really well sewn up into the dress or the top to be honest and just add a nice splash of colour to your handmade wardrobe. The next design I chose was Burda 6029 so um, I think there's a this really interesting jacket pattern here um, there's two views on this one there's one that's sort of like more of a um, I think it looks like it's a slightly longer length than the other actually no I'm not sure I think they might be both be about the same length um, but there's a version where there's no fastenings down the front it's it's left open at the front or there's a version where there's a zip which starts sort of part way down the um, centre front and ends part way down the centre front so there's a V at the bottom and a V at the top but it's all about the seam lines on this one if you have a look at the line drawings um, there's some really interesting detail on this so you've got like a curved um, panel at the side here and then there's darts um, coming out of that um, and it just and then again at the set at the back there's a curved panel coming down there's a center back seam the sleeves are two piece sleeves um, but just a real opportunity I think here to really stretch those sewing skills and make an incredibly interesting jacket and a really interesting project and I think the um, version with the zip just looks like a really sort of it, it's got although it's got all those seams um, it looks sort of quite clean lines when it's on um, because it hasn't got a collar or lapels or any of that it's just sort of cut away at the neckline um, I just think this would be a really classic jacket made up in the right fabric I like the fabric they've chosen on the packet that sort of pale lime green I think that's really modern and lovely um, and I think it's the sort of jacket one of my friends would wear this a lot she always wears a nice jacket with jeans whenever I meet up with her and I think it would just come in really useful so um, you can make it with wool blends or you would be able to make it with other woven fabrics as well and I chose our cotton twill for this one I took inspiration from that lovely fresh sort of light lime green colour on the pattern packet and I thought well why not make it in this gorgeous periwinkle colour this is our seven berry cotton twill this is the colour of the season periwinkle we sold out of it last time but we've managed to get some more in um, and I thought that would just look really nice made up in that version the next pattern I chose is Burda 6004 and this is something that I would probably bypass because it's a very very simplistic make it's a very simple garment so it's a jersey t-shirt dress which is um, comes just below the knee has got an elasticated waist and sort of gathers around the waist as a result of the elastic it looks like it's got inseam pockets and it's just a simple almost well it's yeah like almost like a boat neck sort of um, t-shirt and they're the other option you've got is to make a play suit instead um, so you've got the same bodice but then just a pair of shorts and a drawstring at the waist and like I say this is the sort of thing I'd bypass because I'm a bit of a magpie I'm always looking for the interesting sewing details and um, you know things that are probably a little bit more complicated however this is exactly the sort of thing I need in my wardrobe in the summer and when I go on holiday and I never have enough of it so 
I really think I need to have a word with myself and try and make some of these basics because it really wouldn't take very long to whip this up on the overlocker. You could make it on a sewing machine as well if you haven't got an overlocker, but it's the sort of thing that would probably take a few hours to make, but I'd probably find myself wearing time and time again. Um, it runs in a size 8 to 18 as well. The last one did as well. I, yeah, I just can't remember if I said that. But um, but yeah, I'd, I'd really need to make more things like this. I really like the t-shirt. I think the t-shirt dress, um, I think it's really chic, really simple. Be great for like chucking on over my bikini when we're at the beach. Um, just putting on to just go and pick the kids up from school. And I'd wear it to work. I'd wear it to the park. I'd wear it to, for pretty much everything I do during the day so um, yeah I really need to, to try and have a look at this one so um, yeah for jersey fabrics only so depending on the look that you want for that we've got some viscose jerseys um, we've got plain viscose jerseys and we've got some prints on the website as well but I thought I'd show you this plain viscose jersey in classic navy blue which I think would work really well for that t-shirt dress if you want a lot of drape and movement this is the sort of thing you want to go for um, that comes in a different range of colours as well um, or you could go for a cotton jersey we've got some that, uh, John Caldor cotton jerseys which are a bit more structured they're not as drapey and fluid they come in a, a range of colours um, plain colours but we've also got this um, stripe cotton jersey as well and I made a dress in one of the other colourways of this uh, last year or the year before and it was a t-shirt jersey dress and I wore it so much in the summer I loved wearing it um, I used like a navy blue and turquoise blue stripe one but we've also got this grey and blue um, and then we've also got a pink and grey as well and I just think that would work really well for the t-shirt dress as well or the play suit um, so options there then the next pattern I wanted to share is 6041. So this is another jacket pattern. You've got an option for um, a jacket, a longer jacket that probably hits uh, about the knee, I would say, or a shorter jacket that finishes at the high hip. Um, and I just, again, if you look at the de details on this, the design details, I think it's a really interesting um, jacket with some really nice lines and some really nice design details. So it's got a lovely um, square neck, which I think is nice and unusual. And then it's got like almost like a storm panel um, at the front. Um, so there's a piece that sort of hangs over another piece at the front and then that carries round into the back um, but there's a lovely sort of um, vent opening at the back and then the seam goes off um, in an asymmetrical line to one side which I just think is so quirky and unusual I've never seen that before um, I think it's got welt pockets bus darts um, and again, you know, a really nice project to get your teeth into. And again, a really lovely classic jacket. I actually like the olive green version on the packet. I'd go for the longer version myself. I'm not so keen on the buttons they chose for it. Um, but yeah, I, I think that could be a really lovely classic jacket again that you would wear time and time again over the years. And I've just shamelessly co copied the idea of that sort of olivey khaki green. Again, in our seven berry twill, I thought that that would work well for that one um, so they are available in a range of colors as well so do jump on and have a look at those I'll pop the links below as I mentioned to all the patterns and fabrics so you can find them uh, the next pattern is a very summery one, 6008. So this is loose fitting trousers and shorts um, with an elasticated waist. Um, they look like they've got uh, darts or pleats at the front and um, they've got pockets as well, which I know a lot of people like. Um, I really like View A, which is the short shorts. There's a pair of sort of Bermuda length shorts and then there's some wide leg trousers as well. Just a nice, casual, comfy, easy to wear piece for the summer. Again, the shorts probably need more of that sort of thing in my wardrobe, don't tend to buy or wear or make shorts very often. I've made a couple of pairs over the years, but probably not enough because again, very, very practical on holiday. This runs in an eight to a 22 as well. 
um, and he's a super easy sew. So again, something you can whip up really quickly, uh, throw in the suitcase and probably wear all holiday long. Um, it's for woven fabrics, cotton blends, crepes, that sort of thing. So I chose for this one, this lovely chambray fabric that we've had in recently, which has got really cute little butterflies on it. And I thought the short shorts made up in that would look lovely. Um, if butterflies aren't your thing, we've also got one with a little floral design design on it as well and then we've got one with a colourful print on it as well I think that has got butterflies and flowers maybe but again I'll pop the links below so you can find everything I mentioned today but I thought that would work really well for the shorts and then finally Birdus 5996 um, again a super easy sew size 8 to 22 and it's the classic slip dress um, it comes in three lengths so a sort of mini length um, just above the knee length and then just on the knee length by the looks of it um, totally simple sort of cami slip dress pattern with just bust darts um, it looks like it's got a side vent um, at the hem on the two longer versions can't quite see for the shorter version yeah slight little vent for the shorter version as well um, so this is for woven fabrics and this I've seen so many of these they've been so popular over the last few years um, and people tend to wear them either just as a slip dress in its own right or put a t-shirt underneath it for a more casual day look. Um, so it's very contemporary, on trend. And the fabric I chose that I think would work really well is this beautiful new peach skin fabric we've got, which is really reasonably priced. It's called peach skin if you're not familiar with it because it's got like a soft feel to it. Um, it gets its name from the fuzzy peach skin that we, we know from the fruit, the peach. Um, and this comes in a beautiful range of colors as well. We've got like magenta, purple, forest green, um, can't remember the other colours but do jump on and have a look I'll link below um, it's got nice drape and movement and I think that would just work really well and I chose this lovely jade green colour for a really modern contemporary look so I hope you've enjoyed that today everybody as I mentioned you'll find links to our website all the patterns all the fabrics I mentioned below and if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time